Hi everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back. I'm very late with the um, unboxing of the mystery box this month. Um, it's now, I'm filming this on the 12th of December and um, I apologise for that, but life has been pretty hectic. Um, so we'll do a quick unboxing. Um, there are two boxes left. If anyone is interested, I'll put the details down below in the description box. So I always, I always put a collage on um, each box, so I really love this. This is from Tsunami Rose, this um, fussy cut. Um, so very simple but quite effective collage. So we'll go in. Um, I like to put a doily in each box and just a letter. And we have some lovely tissue paper um, just to seal everything up. And I also like to include um, a tea bag. So this one is an Australian afternoon tea and some marshmallows for while we're crafting. I'm just gonna pop this to the side. So this month is a little bit different um, to normal. Um, obviously it's the December box. So I have done it Christmas themed. Um, I don't normally, well last year I didn't really do that so much but um i thought i would try and get a little bit of festive happening <laughs> so i'll just go in and i can never remember what are in these boxes i can feel this one this one is actually washy um so two christmas um type washies is quite a bit on each roll um this one is a tiny little bell and some lovely red, green and white striped washi. Now the washies in each box will be a little bit different. You won't necessarily get this same one. Um, the fibre for this month is this lovely gold ribbon. It's a very soft ribbon and it's really nice. Um, would look lovely wrapped around as a uh, envelope closure or a, um, on a tag, on the top of a tag, that type of thing. So it's um, very soft, but quite festive as well with that gold in there. There's about two meters in each one. <clears throat> so in this little bag, if I can get it opened. I'm not going to be able to do that without tearing it, so I might just trim the top. We do our best, our best to um, package everything well because some of these boxes go overseas to the US and to Canada. Um, and obviously they go in the post in Australia, so I don't want everything to be a big jumbled mess when they um, get to the person that's bought them so everything's sealed well but we do our best to try and seal them so that you can actually use the bags again so in this bag are some beautiful faux um, vintage postcards I love these these are really really lovely so you can just use these as journaling cards or elements in your journals hopefully the shine on those aren't too bad Sandor looks like he's been caught out. He's in trouble. So that's those. We have another little bag here with um, some bells. And I wonder what's in here. <laughs> I think we can all work that out. So I'm going to cut this and I'll end up using this piece that I cut off as a tab. So I'll glue this up somehow and um, use this as a tab because it's already got the eyelet in there. Just trying to show you what I mean. And then that will go on the edge of, obviously I'll do it neater. Um, probably add a little bit of ink, um, that type of thing. And then that will be on the end of a, edge of a page or a card or something. Or you can just take the bulb pin off and just use the pin and the bells separately. So 
So we've just got a selection of a larger style rusty bell and some smaller little brass type bells. Now, I don't normally do a lot of Christmas decorating and having said that, when I do decide that I want to, I never have anything on hand. So I'm looking forward to having this box so that I can actually have something to decorate with. Um, and in here, are some lovely vintage style, <clears throat> excuse me, vinyl stickers. So, um, with different labels, with words, young children, vintage style children, books, more labels. These are just really lovely. Angels. So a lovely variety of different vintage style Christmas stickers. So in here we have some more um, vintage style stickers. So these are a little bit more on the pastel side. Um, similar, but not quite as dark as these other ones over here. So another huge variety there. And I think, did I say they are stickers? They're stickers as well. Okay. Now, in this little bag, we have a multitude of these craft flag type tags. So, um, Obviously, they're all the same, um, but there is quite a few there. So these are always good um, just for collage and for adding as dangles on larger tags, that type of thing. You could use them as gift tags on your presents if you wanted to. Um, so they will always come in handy in any sort of craft, not just necessarily Christmas crafting. So the substrate, um, well, one of the substrates for this um, box Normally we have one, so this month we have two. Um, and we've done them up in some lovely satin seam binding. And you receive 10 envelopes and 10 card blanks. Really nice quality. So you get 10 of each, 10 card blanks and 10, 10 envelopes. And the other substrate, um, is got all the the confetti coming out um, are these digitals that I have done and they're just in A5 you can utilize these however you want you could make a mini journal Christmas journal using these these are actually on 200 GSM cardstock just to give you if you wanted to use them as tags so you get two red two green, two gold, and then on top of that you get some fussy cut images. So poinsettia and some greenery, some holly, holly leaves and some sprigs. So that's a digital for in that box. Don't mind the noise upstairs, the dogs are playing and my mum is shooing them away by the sounds of it. Okay, now also um, I do like to try and support Australian um, companies if I can, so I have got this Uniquely Creative Creative Cuts 
and this is a very vintage Christmas creative cuts pack. That is my little puppy. I apologize in advance. Um, I just have to do the videos when I get a chance lately. So in here, we have a mixture of stickers and die cuts. Um, so a little, oh, that's, that's actually, that's not a sticker, that's um, confetti. But you get um, lovely vellum stickers, all Christmas related. Um, botanical, which are really nice. Some snowdrops some beautiful bunches of flowers, um, some bigger flowers. I'm just trying not to make a big mess here. So these are really lovely and some birds now. I'm not sure whether they're cardinals or we don't have cardinals, I don't think here in Australia, but they're red birds. And then we have these lovely die cuts. So these are quite, um, they're not chipboard, but they're um, in between cardstock and chipboard. Um, and we have all the numbers for, if you're doing December daily, these would be really great. Um, so we have all the numbers up to 31, I think. I'm pretty sure there's 31, 31 numbers in here. Actually, it might only go up to 25. And then um, some little messages, Merry Christmas. So these would be lovely on new cards if you decided to make some cards as well. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have um, an envelope that I have made that closed with a Velcro closure. And then inside we have um, more confetti and the stamp so i just thought these would be really good that you could even though they're holly you could utilize them as um botanicals in your journals any time of year and you've got a couple of sentiments there as well all right guys um thank you so much for watching that unboxing i do apologize for it being so late. Um, life has been hectic and um i have been unwell myself so um i just have to jump in and do the videos when i can and i do apologize for the noise in the background so until next time guys take care and i'll talk to you soon bye bye